please be sure to use support the creator code justical when buying things in the item shop. I will give a shout out to someone who can prove they bought something with it in my next video. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Yo, what is happening boys and girls? It's me Justical again and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, I will tell you all about how to stop choking on keyboard and mouse. You already know, no five minute intros, but if you don't like the video in the next five seconds, then a Mac will steal your mother's car tonight. Oh, and please subscribe so I can love you forever. Because I am trying to hit 100k subscribers out here. Enjoy the video. So yes, today I am back with another tip video. I know you all like the content videos a lot, but I still wanted to make this video as this issue has not only been a problem for me, but also for many others that watch my videos. Choking your key presses and not being used to a keyboard and mouse is of course a problem that everyone will face when they just start on keyboard and mouse. You don't have the muscle memory yet, and it just feels weird pressing certain keys without looking down on your keyboard all the time. This is completely normal. But what if you have been playing for a few weeks and you still feel like you are stuck in the same spot? Pressing the wrong buttons over and over again which leads to you choking plays and clutch situations in the game. It is one of the most frustrating and demotivating feelings you can get and I am here to help you with it. How you may ask? By explaining you 5 simple tips that have helped me overcome this. Because yes, even your boy Justicle has had some issues with this. Anyways, let's get right into it, shall we? First of all, I'm going into the root problem, unnecessary and wrong key presses. There are three ways to counter this and I will tell you about the first one right now. You have to focus on it and control it. I know, this may sound like I am trying to make you into the avatar, to throwing all the environmental elements, but it is luckily not that hard and serious. What I mean by focusing and controlling it is that you first have to find out what button you keep mispressing, and then actually focus on not mispressing it again. Let's say your edit key is bound to G. But when you are in tight situations and you have to edit out, you always press F instead of G. Now I know that a simple solution would be to bind your edit key to F, but if you have a building bind set to F which you are used to for months, then I would not advise to change that, as relearning building keybinds is the hardest thing to do. So how do you fix it? Well, you already fixed the problem for 50% because you tracked down what key you keep mispressing. Sometimes it is really hard to tell what buttons you keep mispressing in the heat of the fight, so knowing what keys they are actually already helps a lot. If you're having trouble with finding these keys then try to record your keyboard presses with online software or physically record your keyboard with a webcam or mobile phone. I will link the keyboard recording software down below in the description. It's called a Noboard and Face Tempo used to use it a lot in his streams. Now that you know which keys it are, really focus in every game and every fight to not press that button. To give you a quick personal example of my own problems with this, I used to repeatedly press my spacebar in intense situations, which is not good as you can probably tell. Every time I box fought someone and tried to take his wall and edit it, I jumped up making it way harder for me to hit him and easier for him to hit me. Now how did this happen? It had to do with my hands and fingers tensing up because of the intense concentration. And this resulted in my thumb sometimes pressing the spacebar when I didn't want it to. This is completely normal, as most of you probably have the same thing with your face when you get into intense situations. Some people stick their tongue out when they concentrate in fights, some move their head around and some just look completely constipated like me. But this can also happen to for example your thumb. Now this is really hard to control as it is impulsive behavior, but by focusing really hard on it and knowing what you're doing wrong, you can actually tackle this problem. It just takes a lot of time and controlling this behavior. So when you have something like this, identify the problem and fully focus to make it stop. There are no easy tips and tricks for this. It's all about finding the problem and trying to suppress it over a long period of time. Just don't give up. 
The second way to counter unnecessary and wrong key presses is optimal personal keybinds, with the emphasis on personal. I know that nowadays it is all about the optimal keybinds and the fastest way to press keys to build faster, but if these keybinds make you worse after practicing with it for a long time, then don't use them. You don't have to follow the meta if you're not comfortable on your keybinds and performing worse. That is ridiculous and leads to a lot of choking and mispressing keys. I'm going to hit you with another personal experience of mine. We all know by now that I started off with T-Fuse keybinds, as at the time those were the most optimal ones possible. He had his stairs on Q, walls on C, floor on E and stairs on his mouse button. Now I actually booked a lot of progress with these keybinds and enjoyed them a lot. But I noticed one thing. I was supposed to press my C key, walls, with my thumb, but I kept accidentally hitting the spacebar, no matter how much I practiced. I found out that I've never used my thumb for a keyboard ever in my life other than for spacebar. So naturally, I kept pressing it, as it was the only movement I knew. Now relearning this 12 year long muscle memory habit was just not cutting it for me. So I started pressing it with my index finger and I improved a lot because of it. Now yes, that is not optimal, but it made me a lot better in general, so who cares? If you keep doing the same thing like me with any key when reaching over to another one, just change it up so it personally fits you better. It will not only stop your problem, but also make you a better player in general. And regardless, Booga and Mr. Savage don't have optimal keybinds either. And one won 3 million dollars, while the other added lightning fast with the Y key. So yeah, use the best keybinds possible for you and believe in yourself. Now the third and final way to counter this is by practicing the key presses over and over again in creative and mid game. When you find yourself mispressing the same button every time, try to better the movement by practicing so you get more accurate with it. It's actually the same thing as practicing your aim. By repeatedly shooting on the same targets over and over again, you build up muscle memory to get more accurate. This is what you also have to do with pressing keys on your keyboard. I already touched on this subject in an earlier video where I talked about me spamming my weapon slots to get used to reaching my number keys. My weapons are on 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and by pressing these buttons over and over again mid game while I'm not fighting, I will build up muscle memory to press the right weapons when I am fighting. This has always been the advice that I have been giving to new players that can't reach or mispress the number keys. Press them as much as you can while you're not fighting and you will get used to them. However, in one instance someone said to me that their fingers hurt when pressing them, in that case, find other keybinds, as hurting fingers is definitely a sign of discomfort, which is not good. Now this basically goes for every keybind you mispress. If you have this problem for editing or building, then practice it for a few hours in creative. Now let's say you keep pressing R instead of E for your floors. Well, then go into creative and do a stair floor ramp rush without a wall over and over again. By only placing a stair and a floor, you keep practicing the movements you have to make to reach the correct floor key, as it will be immediately followed up after pressing your stair key. This forces you into pressing the correct key, as you will otherwise mess up the stair floor ramp rush. Congrats, you now know how to counter choking key presses. However, there are still two more tips I want to give you on not choking, but they are a bit more general. First of all, don't compare your own progression on keyboard and mouse to others. I see way too many people giving up and becoming demotivated because there are other players progressing way quicker in a shorter amount of time. Don't see anyone's competition apart from yourself. There is a reason that I give a spotlight to players like Acility on this channel, as you can learn a lot from his amazing progression and see it as motivation. Because let's be honest, every single one of you who watched my progression videos didn't get demotivated from it. Did you? All I saw was comments of being inspired and motivated to switch and that is the right mindset to have. Because quite simply, demotivation leads to choking and playing worse. And that is the ugly truth. The other tip is to find out if your choking has to do with sweaty hands. Now this is a quick small tip. But if you lose grip on your keyboard by sweaty hands, then you are more likely to choke in fights. This can be a vicious circle. You get into a crazy fight, get nervous, your hands start sweating and you lose grip on your keys which makes you choke and mispress keys. There are two simple solutions to this that I know of. First of all, you should try out a small desk fan. 
A YouTuber called Flea has one installed on his chair to stop his hands from getting sweaty when playing on his controller. You can do the same for your keyboard by placing the fan next to it and angle towards your hands to prevent them from sweating. The second solution is to have a so-called famous clicks towel. Now it's called a clicks towel because a pro player called Clicks always has a towel on his desk to wipe off his hands with. I've used it myself and it works wonders. So if you have this problem, go get an old towel and place it on your desk for these situations. Now I hope these tips have helped you out in some way and that you now stop choking on keyboard and mouse. If they did help out, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. Now as always, enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you all in the next video.